Hello everyone. I'm here to make a video on a 2017 Honda Fury, but I'm sure they all work the same way because not much has changed in the body shape and things like that, maybe in performance, but anyhow, I don't know all those details, but the point is I have searched high and low for a video which would actually get me to change the coolant on my motorcycle on the honda fury but if you search youtube i don't know if you find a link send it to me too the only one i found was in a foreign language which i didn't understand a goddamn thing on but the point is the video which i'm wanting to make right now is to show you guys how to actually get into the coolant system well the radiator cap and so on and so forth so i can top it off with coolant and the coolant which i have ordered from amazon is the genuine honda extended life antifreeze coolant type 2. this is the recommended one by honda and here we go right into how to top off or change the coolant on your honda fury First off, this little reservoir right there. Mine, I didn't see any fluid in there, so I figured that my radiator was probably running hot, which it wasn't, but I don't know. I just got curious because I didn't want to find out on the road. That's the radiator, and I didn't know where the radiator cap was. Most of you, if you've already done it, you already know, so... You know, no need to even comment on it, but here we go. Here's the side cover right there, which goes right there. And how to remove that, the only thing is, there's this one Allen nut, which is this one right over here. This fits right over there, and you, that's the only thing holding it in besides these three push clips which after you remove that screw, all you gotta do is, you know, hold it the right places and give it a little jerk and that thing, that cover will pop right off. That coolant reservoir, which you can actually see from back here as well, here we go. I didn't see any fluid in there or very less, so I got a little concerned started digging around on YouTube and didn't find a damn thing or couldn't so I decided you know what let's make someone's life a lot easier since I figured it out after you remove that off that's your reservoir right there you can I guess uh, fill up coolant in there until the max line which you can see from back here it says low and what else does it say well that's the upper level lower and upper but where is the freaking radiator cap by the way these are four inch speakers boss speakers which i installed and that amp is right back here anyways had enough space nevertheless coming back to topic if you look at this ignition cover right here it has a screw which i've already taken it apart and looked at it but Here's one screw down here, which the, that's it right there. One screw from down there, and there are three push rivets, which are these. Let me focus right there. All you gotta do is when they're in, it's pushed inside. You gotta get you like one of these little picks right there pick underneath it this thing will come up and this comes right out and where these are located is one on this side right there one on the inside which is a punk because this other plate oops this was for demo purpose only this thing pushes up against it so I had to sort of jerk it out and one was right underneath there uh, that spot right there Okay, so it's already wanting to come out, so let me go ahead and show you. After you take out this cover, 
what's left is the most ridiculous thing I've seen in a while. Hold on. Let me set that cover to the side. After you remove that one screw and those three push rivets, that cover comes out. Now the inside is held in by two more screws right there, which are right there. They're the same ones. But look at this bullshit. Ain't that some bullshit. They got a damn toolkit inside that cover for which you need a tool to get into the toolkit. That's the Allen wrench and there's a screwdriver. Don't know what purpose that serves, but uh, anyhow, it's there if someone wants to know. After you remove those two screws, take this cover off, set it to the side, and voila, there you have it. That is your radiator cap. After you take it out, make sure you put some towels down here or some paper towels or a towel. So, because in case you leak, well, I just clean my motorcycle. So don't want all the mess. After you take it out, if it's empty, top it off. Mine was topped off, but come to know, I just probably wanna top off the reservoir tank just so it has enough to suck back in or however that's recommended. But on this bike so far, I have installed underbody glow lights, which are with, uh, if you turn them on, well, you don't really have to turn it on. I have mine in a switch where I guess I could just operate, boom, and change the colors. Have one underneath. A speedometer two underneath the tank one is way back here under this cover which at nighttime you could actually see and I have one two and three back here underneath the fender so and I've also installed the brakes uh, brake line wire 